guys, I'm Michael Choi and today I'm going to share with you I suppose the platform, the foundation of all conversations I have with my clients, um, my vendors regarding pricing and marketing. Every single conversation in terms of the listing presentation, so this is in my listing presentation and thereafter to make sure that um, everything's on the table, the vendors understand in a logical and a, theor a theoretical way why they should do what, what we're asking them to do rather than just saying, hey, you should do this, I show them reasoning, okay? So it starts off with what I call the buyer pipeline, and this is the foundation of my whole listing presentation, okay? Uh, buyers are generally in three categories, cold, warm, and hot, okay? Now, a cold buyer is not educated, and not ready. They're not educated in the sense that they don't know what market value is. They don't. You can put a. Pro, um, they they look at a house and they don't know what it's worth. And they're not ready in two ways. One, mentally they're not ready. Maybe they haven't seen enough houses to know which one they want to buy. They haven't, I suppose, dated enough people before they know what they want to marry. They haven't seen enough houses. The first house that they see could be perfect, but they can't appreciate it because they've got nothing to compare it to. So that's one reason why they're not ready. And the second reason why they're not ready, they might not have got their finance organized, okay? Not ready uh, for two reasons and not educated. That's a cold buyer. A warm buyer is educated, but not ready. Now, today with technology and the internet and all the programs that you can subscribe to, it's pretty easy for a buyer to get educated. But they still need to get ready, financially or mentally. They need to see enough properties to have a comparison, feel content, and feel that they've done enough homework so that they can make that big purchase. A hot buyer is now educated and they're ready. Okay, ready is the important one. They're ready to act. Um, they've seen everything on the market. They know values just as well as any real estate agent, if not better, because they see more. They've gone to all the auctions. They've missed out on other houses. So sometimes they're a little bit frustrated. Um, no, all the time they're frustrated. They're, they've, they're sick of wasting their time. Now, these two buyers differ dramatically in the sense that these buyers will not waste their time. Okay, if a property does not tick their boxes or is close enough to the criteria, they're not going to look at it. And certainly if the property is overpriced, they're not even going to talk about it. They're not, there's no way that they're going to go to that open for inspection. The cold buyer is different though. They look at everything because one, they don't know what's overpriced. And even if they know what's overpriced, they still look at it because they're in the homework stage. They're still excited about the whole process. It's almost like uh, the partners are holding hands, they're skipping through the house, it's, it's all exciting. These buyers will tell you everything. Um, there's no barrier up, okay? They're not in buy mode, and they know they're not in buy mode. So they'll, they'll just explain everything to you. They'll open up. This buyer, though, they're in battle mode. They won't give you every all the information that you need to help them. They, they've got a shield up because they're against the agent. Um, and they're, they're sick of looking. They won't look at properties that are priced correctly. Now, this information is crucial. If we know this information, it, it helps with the marketing, it helps with um, the way that you price the property, it helps you understand the whole setup for the process so that on day one, it's set to sell, okay? Now this relates to inquiry levels. I'll, I'll show you how the buyer pipeline relates to how much inquiry you actually get into your house, okay? So this is the chart that I call inquiry versus weeks on the market. I've got two charts here. One chart shows, or one graph shows market value, what happens when a property is priced at market value. The other chart shows what happens when a property is priced or overpriced, okay? So it's inquiry levels versus weeks on the market. This is inquiry level, weeks on the market, inquiry level, weeks on the market. I'll start off with the market value one. You see that there's a peak at the start, and the reason why there's a peak is you get the cold, warm, and hot buyers. You get that whole pipeline looking at it in the first two weeks. The reason is those hot buyers have already seen everything else in the suburb, okay? So when something fresh comes up on the market, they look at it straight away. They don't even wait for the open for inspection. They look at it straight away because they've missed out on houses before. They don't want to miss out on any more. This matches their criteria. They call the agent and they bang. They look at it straight away. And then it, it, it slows down a little bit. Um, you get the cold and the warm buyers, and then you just get the cold buyers, okay? Now what I find if you don't sell a property here for whatever reason, maybe strategically you're parking the market for an auction, so you choose not to sell here, or for whatever reason the house just doesn't suit the buyer's needs, it's a little bit quirky, so it doesn't suit the buyer's needs that are on the market at that current time. If you don't sell in this period here, I find you generally sell right here. And the reason is because the cold buyers here, 
have gone through that metamorphosis, they've gone through that bio pipeline, they've gone through that life cycle through this period of time in these weeks, and they're now ready to buy. So not all is lost. If you don't sell it here, some, um, generally I find that there's a high statistic that sell right here. Okay, um, so that's what happens when you price the property correctly. You get a spike at the start. And so this is important, I suppose, in marketing because this is launch time. Sometimes clients say, "Hey, if it doesn't work out uh, straight straight away, then we'll do it properly." According to this chart, you shouldn't be doing it that way. Your, your first weeks are your most crucial, so you need to start off with a bang. You need to launch the product. You need to launch the property correctly. This is what happens when you go overpriced, okay? You get a steady flow of people, cold and warm, and then it just goes to cold. You get a steady flow of people, but you don't get the hot buyers as you see here. So in other words, these buyers can't even buy the house. You could have the property uh, overpriced by 50 grand, 100 grand, and these buyers are still going to come. Why? They're skipping. They're still going through all the houses. They're excited about the whole process. The hot buyers, the buyers that are actually ready to buy, they don't come because they're sick of wasting their time. Okay, and so that's why Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, that's why agents out there, it's important that you price the property correctly at the start. One, or I suppose, how bad would it be if you overprice a property, you get five grand of vendor paid advertising out of the clients with an overpriced property, and you're advertising with the wrong price to cold buyers. So you're spending thousands of dollars to the public, to the marketplace, knowing that hot buyers aren't going to come no matter what kind of marketing you do. It could be on the TV, it could be, um, it could be skywriting, you could, you could do any ads that you want, but the hot buyers still aren't going to come because it's overpriced. So this is why it's, it's crucial for you as agents to understand this and, and, and your clients. So understand this so you can explain to your clients that they get it right at the very start. Launch time, guys. Launch time. Now, the buyer pipeline and inquiry versus weeks on the market is the fundamental, it's the foundation of all conversations I have with my clients in terms of marketing, making sure that they spend the market, marketing correctly at the right time and the, and the right amount. And secondly, um, to make sure that they price the property correctly. Uh, next, the next video that I'll be um, launching out will be related to this. It's actually the next conversation that I have with clients. It's about, there's only two houses that you can be. You can be the helper, or you can be the helped. Okay, and that flows in for this. So um, just keep a lookout for that video. I'm Michael Choi. Thanks for watching. I hope you got a, a one or two nuggets out of that. And if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call 0431 063 855 0431 063 855. Take care, guys. Catch gotcha. up.